am on a roll. I am a hauling machine. I've got my water in tow. Mm. Guys, I've been hauling so much and I've been like hacking through all my videos. So if I start hacking on this, just know it's a continuation of my hauling day. Um, basically, I did a bunch of shopping in the past couple months and I started like separating my hauls because it was just going to be way too big. It was going to be like an hour long haul. And I was like, nobody's going to want to sit there that. I don't want to film that. So I decided to break it up throughout like this day and uh, probably tomorrow I'll continue filming because... Um, there's just so much to haul. And so I figured the little hauls are probably better and more enjoyable for you to watch anyhow. So anyways, uh, today I am doing one of my favorite hauls, which is a mall haul. There is nothing sweeter in this world than going into a shopping mall and buying so many things from so many stores, just makeup and smoothies. And it's just, I love the mall. Like, I am a mall girl through and through. I was a valley girl here in LA for about six years. I love the valley so much. Like, I'm total, let's go shopping at the Galleria. Like, that is me. Like, I get so excited when people mention the mall. So, I have a mall haul for you, and I'm really, really excited about this. So, let's just start with Windsor. The Windsor store. Hello. Let's just show this bag here. I like Windsor, but the only one is the one near my sister's because I don't know one near me. So I actually just picked up this top from Windsor. Let me just stand up here. It says Bentley, Crystal, and Hip Hop because we know Trisha's ghetto. And okay, sorry, I don't mean to like offend anybody here, but it is one of those really long armhole things. I'm supposed to have a bandeau top on, but I'm just around my house today, so I'm wearing my bra. But guys, check out the back, right? Ready, ready, ready? Look at the back of this. Oh, come on here, move out of the way. Why is that hair there? Oh, it's right here. Like, I don't know. Trisha's just has so much flavor lately. Um, but I love it. And I got it, and I got it at um, Windsor, which was, like, so random because Windsor is, like, not the kind of store that would sell this. But I loved it. It was on the mannequin, and I'm like, I need it. And this was actually after I had gone to Bath & Body Works. And if you guys know, if you go to Bath & Body Works and you buy lots of candles, you guys know it, like, weighs down your arms. So if you go to Bath & Body Works to buy candles, please do that as your last stop on the way out. Because I did that, like, in the middle of our shopping experience, and it made me rush in, like, every store, which is awful. And I'm getting saliva again. Oh, my God. Seriously, guys, I talk so much, my mouth just, like, runs dry. So... I'm going to just go ahead and go on to Sephora, which I don't have the Sephora bag. Um, my bad, but I only got a few things from Sephora. And um, I just got, you know what, you guys, I kind of missed out on the Princess Jasmine collection. I love the Disney collections at Sephora. I got, like, almost everything from Cinderella, and I heard they're doing Ariel this fall. Um, but I really wanted the Jasmine Storybook palette and the Jasmine Compact Mirror, and then, like, those were the first two things that, like, sold out. I'm all, like, hunched over. Um... I was really disappointed and really they were really picked over and these were like the only two things that I actually would use slash want from the collection. Um, this I thought was actually pretty cool, not that I need more eyeliner, but it's a Three Wishes eyeliner set and I guess I don't really buy like eyeliner, mascara, like limited edition stuff because it's like if you end up liking it, like you can't repurchase it, so what's the point? But again, it was more of just like a commemorative, like the jasmine, it came with like the jasmine brush and the gel liner, which I love, the like crayon liner, and I guess this is mascara or is that liquid liner? That must be liquid liner. Yes, liquid liner. Um, so I don't know. It was just more of the novelty to pick this up because, again, it's, like, the only other thing I thought I could use. But I did like the angled brush, and I love gel liner. I'm, like, obsessed with gel liner. So I picked that up. And then this I saw in Char Charisma Star? Charis? Yeah. In Charis' monthly favorites for April. Um, and I thought it was so, so pretty. So I was really glad they still had this. Because, actually, I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that the Jasmine collection was out until I saw it. And then, like, when I saw hers, it was too late. But it's just this really pretty shimmer dust. And uh, what is the actual name of this? Perfumed Body Shimmer. A Whole New World. So, um, it looks like perfume, but it's actually just, like, this dust. And I guess it's supposed to be, like, body shimmer. But it's just really beautiful. I have a perfume collection on my vanity, as you guys know. And so I thought this would look just really pretty. Um, I'm kind of confused. Let me just see how this works here. Okay. Probably doesn't even work. <laughs> okay, let me try my... I'm so confused. Why doesn't this work? <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I doing wrong? Ow! Oh! Fail. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. It's on my loop of tongues. Oh, oh. I'm dying. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to go fix this mess right now. What the hell? Oh! That was the biggest fail in the history of all my filming fails. Mm. 
Wow. I just, I legit just ruined about $6,000 worth of shoes. Awesome. Wow. I feel great. Plus, I just got new extensions and all that went in there. So, for all of you guys who hate me, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome for just failing so miserably for you guys and having wet hair. I would like to get through the rest of this haul. And I have shimmers still all over my hands. I feel like crying, but then again, I feel like, Trisha, you have officially have a fail, like a legit fail for YouTube. So, that was great. And that was that. Okay, shall we continue? <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot believe I did that. I'm still I'm still a little sad. The show must go on. This will be the last haul I'm filming for the day. Okay, so the next thing I got that I'm like playing with is the Lorac Pro Palette, which I was really excited to show you guys and really excited to haul because I really wanted to play with it. Um, okay, let me just take some water here. <laughs> I, wh why did I move? You guys can't see right now, but well, here, let me just move. Why did I move? There's a Louboutins on there. Two pairs of Louboutins to the bottom. And why did I decide to film right next to them? This is a, this is the last haul video you are going to see in this position. I cannot believe it, you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Okay. Can we move on? Okay. So Laura came with an eye primer in the Pro Palette. That's what's included. It's just an eye primer. You don't really need to see. Um, but I've been wanting this Pro Palette for a long time because the colors are just so gorgeous. Um, the top row is all matte and the bottoms are all shimmers. So let's just show you the colors. And I think they're just so perfect because these are like colors that you can wear every day. Like the browns and the golds and the neutrals are something that I love to wear every day. As well as like these darker colors over here which are just like so much more intense in this little quadrant right here. Those are like really intense colors that you can wear for smoky, got highlight and corn. I just really think this is a great palette to travel with and um, it's one that I thought about maybe putting in my bag but now I'm kind of nervous about putting makeup anywhere and near anything that I own that's nice um, but also too for like traveling I just think it's great because the naked palettes are wonderful but you know either you have to have all shimmers there's like only two mattes in there and then um, my hair is so wet right now sorry guys um, I literally just can I just let me just just sidetrack okay the Laura Pro Palette is great we get it um, <laughs> you guys I literally like to wash my hair and like just got new extensions and everything and that just all happened within like like, I got new extensions a couple days ago, and the, and I just washed my hair this morning. It's just, like, such an epic fail. It makes me want to cry. Anyways, the Lorac Pro Palette is awesome. I'm so happy I got it. Okay, great. Anyways. <laughs> we only have two more places to get through. Love Culture, which I'm super excited about. I'm so glad I didn't get powder on this bag because this was kind of, well, it wasn't expensive. It was, is there a receipt in here? I don't know. Okay, so the thing is, is this was probably, like, 150 bucks, which is, a lot for like a, a store like Love Culture and Forever 21. You guys know how I feel about those kind of stores. I think they're kind of, um, my hands smell like Resolve. I don't want to have Resolve on it. Touch it. Watch. I'll probably like, since I just like bleached out my carpetings, I'll probably have like bleached out on my hands even though I washed them. But I just, ugh. anyways, probably get them on this outfit. So, you know what? There's black and white things. Let me just go wash my hands real quick. And I just had a little bit of a cry again. You guys, honestly, I have never been that stupid. <laughs> Who would have thought that a big pfft of a freaking fairy dust or freaking princess jasmine dust would have been coming out of there? Okay. And is it on the carpeting? Okay, I just washed my hands in here. I'm anyways. Okay. <laughs> did I say love story? I meant love culture. Did I say love culture? Love culture is this store. Okay. So, oh, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me go cut this off real quick. So I had to cut this out. I totally forgot about this little ring. This is an infinity ring I got for $4.99. Let me just do it this way. Well, not that it matters because it's an infinity ring. But it was $4.99. Focus at Love Culture. And I thought it was so, so pretty. I love the infinity sign. I think it's so, so cute. I could almost wear this as like a, a knuckle ring. My fingers are so chubby. I get it, guys. Well, there it is. <laughs> Okay, it's like in between a, actually this one. For some reason my pointer finger is like chubbier than my middle one, which is weird. But there it is. So pretty, actually, there, perfect. A thumb knuckle ring. <laughs> it's stretchy. You know you have chubby fingers when a stretchy, because see it stretches? When a stretchy is too tight. 
fail again. Can this, this video can just called One Giant Fail. Laugh at Trisha. It's like, ugh. First world white girl problems. Moving on. I'm taking this ring off before anyone's like, it's cutting off your circulation. You're so disgusting, Trish. Okay. <laughs> laugh at yourself right okay um so this dress I love 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 and it reminds me of Kim Kardashian as a whale remember when everyone called her Shamu because of her pregnant belly in a dress like this I just thought but I thought it was so pretty and whatever who cares who cares if you look like Shamu but it's a really really long dress watch I'm pulling it I'm pulling it I'm pulling it and there's the bottom of it it's a super long dress it is a very slinky like spandexy material but super super cute my sister tried it on and I was like oh my god I want it I tried it on it wasn't quite the same but I still really liked the fit I thought it was really really elegant eleganza you guys saw this top I actually did wear this top already in a video in the video where I announced my book release of the history of my insanity I think it's called like my first book or I'm an author or something like that um but I loved it it's just this like black and white Beetlejuice top and then the shoulders are cut out and it has this awesome mesh right here um yeah I loved it I just thought it was so pretty nobody com you know what everyone was so concerned about my grammar in that video that nobody even commented how cute my top was in that video and I just thought that was like one of the cutest things like when I watched that video back I'm like oh that top is really on I need to wear that top more but it was in this bag okay this dress I love too I've been loving the neon pink so if you guys saw my target haul I've been like obsessed with neon pink and I just love this again just a nice little fitted thing a little bit of a peekaboo underneath your breast in between your stomach and then it goes down and it's not super short either guys you guys will be proud of me it's it's high um high chested and you know it goes like mid thigh which is really good and then the back is just super simple little tank I just thought it was just a really fun, again, simple sort of dress. Um, I like simple things. As you guys know, I don't really wear a lot of accessories anymore. I mean, sometimes I do, like, if I'm really trying to put forth an effort. But just in general, like, even, like, going out, I just don't like to wear a ton of accessories. I don't know, maybe because of the change of season that it's just warmer and I don't like the sweat or whatever. But, um, yeah, I just, I like to just have dresses that are just easy and it's the whole outfit. You don't even need an accessory with it. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, so this dress was so super cute. I was just like, this store was a hit, again. Like, some things, it's like hit or miss, right? Like, love culture is usually a miss for me, but I was just, like, feeling all of these dresses. And this one was no exception. It's just this really pretty pastel pink with, like, this brown leather belt that goes around it like that. And it's just super flowy. It's the high-low hemline. And I just thought it was really pretty. I don't know. I don't know where you'd wear this to. But, you know, you always have, like, there's an occasion that comes on, and you're like, oh, I really don't have a dress for that. I feel like this would be that sort of occasion. I don't know. Maybe, like, a lunch or a Mother's Day or a baby shower or a wedding shower. I don't know. But I like how long it goes in the back. Like, literally, it's like a train in the back. I just think it's so pretty. And then the front is just, like, super short. So, I don't know. I thought that was really, really cute. By the way, guys, follow me on Instagram, at Trisha Paytas, if you would like to see, because I try most of these on, and then I snap them, and I'm like, what do you guys think? Um, so sorry that this is wet. I went to go blow dry it, but it was just, like, too wet at that point. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> and then this dress was super pricey. This is what drove up my, um, as you can see, I got a lot of nice dresses, and they're actually really nice material. Um, but this one was, how much was this? This was $69, and all the other ones were, like, under 30 or under 40 something like that. So this is what drove the um, price up of my whole overall purchase. Otherwise, it probably would have been under $100. Um, but I loved it. It was so pretty on the mannequin, because, like, far away, guys, it looked like it was a naked dress with just, like, almost, like, the silver parts were, like, chains in it. Like, sort of like this medieval kind of Gatsby. I mean, that medieval and Gatsby are two different time periods. But it reminds me a little bit of, well, it reminded me of the medieval armor. Because, right, the silver looked like chains, like at medieval times. But now looking at it in the rear view, I see, like, the pearls and the sequins and sort of like a flappery style at the bottom. So I guess it's more Gatsby. But I just thought it was really, really pretty. I tried it on again. When you're wearing it, it almost looks, because the back has full nude, it almost looks like you're nude with just, like, um, like a little cage of diamonds and pearls just who look at my body okay <laughs> are we past the fairy dust yet because i'm sure not because i can smell it i can smell the fairy dust in my hair on my shirt awesome <laughs> moving on the final place i went to at the mall was the bath and body works hall you remember how i started saying these are my favorite halls well now they're like my least favorite after this incident i, I kind of never want to haul again actually to be honest with you but anyways I had to haul these because I really, really want to use them. We'll start with the candles. 
and they were not having the two for 22 sale but that's how amazing these candles were that I needed to buy them full price um, because I did not want them to sell out like call me crazy but I was like they might sell out and my sister was like well let's just wait for the two for 22 I'm like nope I need this now and this was the one that you must have it is the espresso bar you guys this is the must have candle I mean I don't know how that's a summer scent espresso bar but um let me just read the bottom because like this candle I can already smell it's like amazing in Italy oh yes they have a whole, oh yes, oh yes, I'll get into the soaps. They have their whole Italian collection, that's it, the summer in Italy. What is happening, sorry. Uh, oh gosh, and a dust of speck of glitter just flew by my eye. So they're having the Italian collection right now in the summer in Italy, which I think is great and awesome and fun because uh, I'm not going to Italy this summer even though I'd love to, so I might as well have my house be Italian. Um, in Italy, you never take your coffee to go. Instead, you stop and savor the aromas of roasted espresso beans and sweet vanilla froth that inspired this fragrance. And you guys... It's almost a little chocolatey, too. It's like a chocolatey... Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. I was, like, going to literally have you smell it, guys, because this is. it really does remind you of, like, a... Not just, like, a Starbucks. It does remind you... I've never been to Italy, so... Uh, well, an Italian coffee house, rather. Um, so I can't really... But it just... That's just... This is the smell I would think it would smell like, like an Italian coffee house. Huh? It's just so strong and pretty. And actually, the girl that I remembered the story, the girl at the checkout was like, yeah, my husband doesn't even like coffee. Um, but I was, she said she was burning it while she was making dinner. And he's like, oh, my God, can I have a cup of coffee? And she's like, he doesn't even like it. And he was just like, he wanted coffee after smelling this candle. She goes, it's just a candle. But it is sort of like a chocolatey scent, too, to it, even though it's not. But I really like it. It's like a dessert candle. Oh, gosh, you guys. Espresso bar. I got one for my sister as well because she's the one that kind of discovered the scent. I wouldn't have even, like, smelled it twice if it wasn't for her. But it really is, oh, amazing. And the other candles I got, whoo, they were potent. Oh, yeah, I got the Limoncello. Limoncello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just all try and be Italian today. Um, I loved this for my kitchen, and it says, Raise your glass to this fragrance inspired by Italy's beloved drink, the Limoncello, with its notes of Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and a hint of lemon zest. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. You know, it almost smells like a lemon head. I know that's, like, not very, like, uh, what is, oh, gosh, you guys, my hair. I'm sorry. Every time I get new extensions put in, my, like, my hair always starts to freak out. Um, it smells like a lemon head, <laughs> but a very classy lemon head. Um, I got this just for my kitchen because, I don't know, sometimes my kitchen smells weird, like, for no reason. Like, it'll be, like, I'll take out the trash, I'll do the dishes, like, it just, I'll scrub the floors, and it'll just have, like, a weird, like, scent to it, I guess, because I cook a lot of bacon, so sometimes it's, like, that permanent bacon scent. I don't know. And then Bellini Cafe. Oh, what is this? That's a weird scent for me to pick out. Who knows what I was even thinking. Bellini Cafe. The Italian love of life is captured in a blend of sparkling berries, juicy apple, and sugared grape notes. Bellissimo. Yeah, it's a pretty fragrance, but I don't, I don't know why I would think I would need this at full price. Where it's like, yes, I think I need that Bellini Cafe. I don't know. Maybe I was just feeling the whole Italian summer vibe at Bath and Body Works and just felt the need to buy that candle. Plus, I, I'm, like, running low on summer candles, guys. Like, I wanted to burn pumpkin spice the other day because I literally didn't have any other candles. My sister's like, let's just go to Bath and Body Works. I was like, okay. And I definitely needed soaps. I got a loofah. Why did I get a pink loofah? I don't even know. Sometimes when I haul this stuff, I'm like, why, why, why are you buying stuff you don't need, Trish? But I did need this stuff, you guys, for real, because I was running low. So I did get the four for 15, um, bath soaps because, honestly, guys, I have to say I'm a pretty good hostess when... Everybody who comes over is like, oh my god, I love your new soaps. Every time I come over, I'm like, what kind of soaps would you have? Kid you not, you guys? Like, five people have, like, told me this in the past month that they, like, live for my soaps. So, I'm a pretty good soap picker-outer. Um, I did get the Sicilian lemon for my kitchen, because kitchens are supposed to smell like lemons, apparently. Uh, I have a giant lemon one out there now, but it's almost gone. I got the Italian lavender. And then the other two I got for the 4 for 15 are the, um... Bella Flora and the Tuscan Vineyard. Can you see it? Okay. <laughs> and then this one I, I actually did get specifically for my kitchen. Because how beautiful does this look? There we go. As I was about to squirt myself in the eye with it. Um, the Italian collection. And it's lemon. It's so pretty. This was not part of the 415 because it's a fancy bottle. But I thought this was just so pretty. Celebrate the romance of sun-drenched Italy with sparkling limoncello. Ooh, match my candle. So I got lots of lemon stuff uh, because, like I said, my kitchen 
requires it. I better not put that there. That's just gonna fall. Let's put it by my Louboutins that I just ruined. Perfect. Um, and then you guys, I got um some more stress relief, the eucalyptus bath bath gel, bath luxury bath from. Um, so I am gonna do a morning and nighttime routine, but you guys, every single night I've been taking baths. I love baths. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna have to do a nighttime routine. My nighttime routine is bomb lately because I have slept through every night. I have been getting plenty of sleep. I've just been like, oh just I love it and I have stress relief I have sleep bubble bath I have um, soothing I have I have a ton of it um, so I had to pick up some more because I love the aromatherapy bubble bath from Bath and Body Works you guys it's like the best thing to take a bath at night is like the best feeling and do it like kind of close to bedtime not when you're like super tired I usually do it like an hour before I go to bed or, or before I want to go to bed because then I get out I, sh I like rinse off shower do my hair um, and then I'm just like clean and fresh to go to bed. It's just like a really amazing feeling. Um, I love the Bath and Body Works stuff because personally the Lush bath stuff does nothing for me. Like the bath bombs do absolutely nothing for me. So anyways. Okay, well I'm going to just like go cry myself to a... <sighs> Either I'm going to cry myself, sleep myself, or eat myself into getting out of this depression that I have now that I just ruined these shoes. Um, and my carpeting and my overall beauty center. This is just tarnished forever. After filming is done, you guys, I'm always like, fucking, fucking YouTube. Fucking. That's what I do after. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but today I just might do that. But anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go blow dry this little mess. Thank you guys for, for being here. Thank you for watching my shopping hauls. And thank you for witnessing Trisha's very awful day. Oh, fishy. Mm. Kissies for my fishies. Mwah! Bye, guys. So stupid. So stupid.